So I was walking my dog yesterday with my wife, actually my two dogs, and the gentleman that we were walking in front of his house came out. And I was like, hey, how's it going? And he was like, rah, 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 rah. And I uh, thought not a whole lot of it other than maybe he's having a bad day. And under his breath, he says, keep the dogs off the lawn. We don't share the taxes on that. Unless you want to chip in on my taxes, keep them off my lawn. And I thought to myself, wow, that was a really weird, rude way to word that. Um, and it didn't occur to me later to, until later, to maybe, maybe I do owe him a couple of dollars or something. So I'm curious to figure out how much I would owe him based on the use of his front lawn by my dog. So let's do some calculations and see what it ends up being. All right, so let's play. So I estimate that that guy's house, this property, is probably, if I use mine as an approximation, his is probably about 50 feet by 150 feet. So if on my calculator I multiply 50 by 150, that means that his property is 7,500 uh, square feet. Now, bear with me here, this is going to get a little wonky. If we think about usage of his property, we also have to take time into consideration. So there are 525,600 minutes in a year. And yes, I know that because of rent. If I multiply those, so multiply by 525,600, we're at he, his property has 394, 200. Ooh, actually, the decimal point is off by one more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four zeros on the end of it. So tag, tag. So that is almost four billion feet squared minutes, meaning every square foot of his property exists for 525,600 minutes through the year. Kind of a weird unit of measure, but here's what I'm going to use it for. Using my taxes as a comparison... Let's assume that his taxes are $10,000 for the year. I know, we live in a crazy neighborhood. So if I take 10000 and divide it by that, that would give me dollars per square foot minutes. So let's do that. Let's take 10000 divided by the previous answer, and we end up with... Point one two three four five two five four dollars per square foot minutes. All right, so I've got a fairly small dog, which means it probably, you know, if you kind of look from the top, here's my dog, it definitely fits in two square feet at any given moment. I would imagine that my dog, at most, was on his property for three minutes. So, that means my dog used three square foot minutes on his property. So what do I owe him? Well, the units here are going to cancel out nicely. If I multiply 0.00002254 dollars per square foot minutes times what I used, oops, sorry, this should be six, because my dog takes up two units for, let's say, three minutes. So I'm going to multiply that by six square foot minutes. Well, let's look at that on the calculator. So that's this amount times six. I owe him point zero 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 zero. The one five. Let's round dollars. Now, it's illegal from what I understand to take a penny and cut it up, but I figured in the kind of like current age and, and coronavirus situation we're in, everybody wants some toilet paper. All right, so here's the information on the Amazon order that. I had placed before this all started. 
So Charmin Ultrasoft, 24 mega rolls. So they're the huge ones. They're like six regular rolls each. Cost me $31.49. And there are 338 sheets per roll. So that means that on that order, there were 24 times 338. There were 8,112 sheets. So if I divide 3149 by 8112, that means it is that sheet per roll. So I owe him this much. This is how many dollars per, not roll, per sheet, per square it is. So if I divide 0 0.1234 15 divided by 0 0.003, I end up with, and let me math, enter, enter, I have to give him 1 200th of a square. So I owe 1 200th of a square. So this is one square of Sherman Ultra Soft. It is, let's see here, let's call it four inches by four inches. So I'm going to divide, let's see here, what's the square root of 200? Because I'm going to cut this up into equal pieces. What is the square root of 200? That's 14. So I got to cut this up into 14 pieces. So what is 4 divided by 14? So I need 0.28. And let's even just round it off to 0.3. So I'm going to, because, yeah, we'll, we'll round up just in case my calculations are wrong. So there, here's half an inch. So what I need to do is I need to cut a square that is a half inch, so that's here, by a half inch. Okay, so where are my scissors? Here we go. Got my nice scissors here. So I owe this gentleman that much toilet paper. So I am going to potentially write a letter explaining all of this to him and apologizing for using his front yard to have my dog walk on for that much toilet paper.